Okay, so now to create one of these uh, tile coasters, we just need to give our tiles a clean, give them a wipe, and we're going to add some masking tape around the edge. So I just put the masking tape about halfway, like around the middle of the tile. Stick it down and just stick the bottom down. So this is going to give us a little wall to hold our paint in. So now that we've got a little wall around our tiles, all we need to do is add our colours. So I'm going to start with some pearl. And you're going to add, create like circle patterns in it few lines in the background so I'm going to start with just a couple of lines across and I'm going to do that to all of them. Now I'm going to add some green prism Just slightly blending it into that line on the, the pearl colour. Just so they start, we can see here how they start reacting with each other. Your blending doesn't have to be even perfect. A few uneven lines help give you some nice patterns. Okay, now I'm going to Some of the glass paints, which I might add the brown in next. So this is the vitrile, the brown vitrile paint. And I shall get another pipette for this one. Again, you can see the patterns. Mm -hmm. Just, I'm not adding more colour here as such. I'm just sort of spreading this bit out a bit more. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That was an accident there, but I like it. I might do a couple more of them splatters.
Now I've got the tape around it sort of to catch a lot of the colour. Once it's semi-set, then I'll take the tape, tape off and what little bit of colour is not set will just run down over the edges. Okay, so... I'm going to pull a little bit across here because I want to add a little bit more on top. Don't get too attached to the pattern that's happening in front of you right at this minute as it will keep changing. It will keep growing and back to the brown. So you can see I'm only working with, at the moment I'm working with one, two, three, four colours. And I'm going to bring, I think, silver on top. So no more than five colours, I think, at a time looks best. I'm liking the green, so I'm going to add more green. A bit more brown at the top there. I think I lost it there. You see them working their little magic going through there. This white one here is not blending quite as much, so I'm just going to give it a helping hand. won't stay there for long but it's just adding another little blended element. So I'm going to add a couple of white swirls around. So 
So I'm just dripping it on there first in a circular motion. And then swirling it in. And then I'm going to take my silver fine liner. And it is simple as that, and then all you've got to do is let it sit for a couple of days to dry. Just love it. So I'll just let that video for a second fast forward it just so you can see as it keeps moving and growing and morphing into its new design.